वेलकम बैक एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू कोट रिपली एंड टूडे आई विल भी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू ऑल अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ दिस एम एफ एक्स एटी टू एम एक्स कैलकुलेटर विच आई वॉज एक्चुअली अन अवेयर फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम दैट इज फाइंडिंग स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेटर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो वट वी हैव टू डू इज दैट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू रिसेट एवरी थिंग फॉर दैट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट प्रेस द शिफ्ट देन वी हैव टू प्रेस द मोड देन वी हैव टू प्रेस थ्री and then we have to press equals to two times so equals to equals to what has happened is that everything is now reset so now what we have to do is that we have to enter the standard deviation or the statistical form for for that what we have to do is that we have to press mode and then we have to press 2 it is sd that is statistics or uh, standard deviation so then we have to press 2 now we have to find the standard deviation of minus 5 1 8 7 and 2 Right, this is seven and two, not seventy-two. Seven comma two. So, what we have to do is that we have to first press minus five. So minus five. Okay, then we have to press this M plus, which means increase in memory or adding it to memory. So plus, then one. Okay, one. Then again, M plus, then eight. So eight. Then again M plus, then seven. Then. Seven, then again M plus, then two, then two, then again M plus. And what is this five showing here? The total five elements are stored. One, two, three, four, five. So five are stored. Now what we have to do is that to find the standard deviation, we have to press shift. So shift, and then here you can find it is written S V A R over two. So we have to press that. So we have to press two. And now this sigma of x, this is actually standard deviation of x. So we have to press two, and then we have to press equals to. So here you can see I have already computed the values. It is four point six seven three three, and it has already matched here. So this is the process to find the standard deviation of some given numbers, which is actually very helpful. And also you can find the mean in a very simple way, although it is not required because finding mean is itself very easy. What you can do is that you can press Shift, then again two, then here you can see over one it is x bar, which means the mean. So if you press one, then equals to. then you will get 2.6 which is actually the mean of these numbers so this was a very important function of this fx82 ms calculator to find the mean and standard deviation of some given data so i hope uh, this was clear to you and i also hope that this video was actually very helpful to all of you so please like share and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below your comments are actually very valuable for me so stay tuned i will be back with more videos thank you